So there are two main phases of the menstrual cycle. The first phase, or the first kind of half, is called the follicular phase, and the second half is called the luteal phase. During the follicular phase, what is happening is our uterus, and the endometrium in particular, is actually preparing for implantation of a potential pregnancy. During the follicular phase, the follicle is developing kind of before ovulation. So what happens is that during this phase, there are signals that come from our brain that go down to our ovary, and many hormones are released from the pituitary. We call this the HPO axis, or the hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis. One of the main hormones that comes from the pituitary is called FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone. What FSH does is it surrounds the potential pool of follicles, and at random, one follicle gets selected to become the dominant follicle. That's the follicle that's going to grow and ultimately ovulate, and the rest of the follicles get negative feedback loop from some signals that grow from the developing follicle, and that one follicle actually suppresses the other follicles and prevents them from growing. That's why generally we grow one follicle and release one egg, and most pregnancies in human are one baby at a time rather than litters like other animals. So what happens during this phase is that the FSH acts on those follicles, one follicle develops. As that follicle is developing, it is secreting estrogen. Estrogen does two things. One is it builds up our uterine lining um, to make it nice and fluffy, and the other thing is it goes back up to our brain to suppress FSH from preventing the other follicles to grow. In the middle of our menstrual cycle, if you have a 28-day cycle, around day 13 or 14, you get an LH surge. So we get a surge of this LH hormone, luteinizing hormone, from the brain, and that induces ovulation to occur. After ovulation, are now in the luteal phase. So the luteal phase is characterized by progesterone production. Once we ovulate that egg, the follicle that was developing, the dominant follicle, now becomes what we call a corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone. And so what that progesterone does is it kind of causes a network that I think of it, and it supports the endometrial lining to provide support for a potential implantation of an embryo if you were trying for pregnancy. Now, in the majority of months of our life, we are not getting pregnant, so what happens is that the corpus luteum gets hormonal signals that we are not pregnant, there's no pregnancy hormone around, and the progesterone level declines. With that declining progesterone level, we lose that support for the endometrial lining, and we ultimately get a period or a bleed and shed that lining. Then the whole cycle starts again.